guys, welcome back to the vlog. Continuing on with, let me stand here. Um, fucking hell. Continuing on with the cupboard. Um, I pretty much got everything that I need to get for the cupboard. Um, except from a like retractable um, wall mounted, what's going on with me today? A retractable wall mounted drying rack that I need to pick up from Amazon. But I'll show you what I got. Okay, so we've got a little bird's eye view going on here with the phone. Flash on, oh my god. Right, so um I went into the spotty bag shop in Banff, and if you don't know, get to know, you will know if you're a local like me. Um and they had hundreds of like storage things and storage baskets and stuff. And I seen this cute little tabletop, a cute little tabletop trash can. How cute is it? So I wanted to get a little like bucket, just a little thing in the cupboard um, for like lint out of the tumble dryer because we, um, if we take it out, we normally just put it on the ledge and then take it through for whenever that may be. Um, but and I needed to get a bucket, but I didn't want like a full size bucket. So, oh my God, sorry, I'm just peeling that off. So yeah, it's got this little table ta tabletop trash can. Such a good bloody idea. Um, and then outfit else for the spotted bag shop was just this little plant. So me and my mum went to Inverness today and we went to the range and to Boots. This was 4 99 for this little picture, this foam hat. Am I blind? This home has endless love and laundry. So sweet. So I thought I'd put it up. Um, this item may be heavy. <laughs> Absolutely not. Um, so that's going to go up in the cupboard. <laughs> and then, also for the cupboard, how cool is this? Such a good idea. Cloth socks, seeking soulmates. It's like soulmates because it's like soles your feet love it so we've got just like little peggies here that ends a wee bit bent god i hope it doesn't break i'll be pissed another thing for the laundry cupboard is this kilner glass drinks dispenser um and i thought that this would be such a good idea for softener so it lies on its side like this and then you open the tap and juice comes out a little key box for our keys here because i hate keys lying out i don't know why I just hate it oh hold on hello Juice. Can I get juice? Okay. No man. What else have I got here? Oh. Oh no. I got this. I'm not sure. Oh for God's sake. Why does things brack so fucking easily? I hate to glue that back on. Um, I got this. Wait, what the fuck is actually going on here? I'll hate to start this out, but a nice little hanging plant. Very lightweight. I thought it'd be cute for in the living room once we get our um, wallpaper and all that sorted. A cute little hanging plant. And then I went to Boots. <laughs> Someone stopped me. So. As we all know, I have hair extensions in, um, and I did not wash them all the time. But it's annoying to keep my hair in my face. So look, look at this cap. It is so 
cute. I honestly want to wear this like outside. See if it wasn't a crinkly. <laughs> How I honestly think that's so cute. I love it. <gasps> Still cute though. Some sucker Eli. Um, if mums have now used my little Coco, use it. Especially if your baby has got curly hair. They've got curling clustered and it is amazing. <laughs> so good. Um, but we use the shampoo and conditioner for them. And I got some bath and body bubbles, sleepy head ones, and sleepy head bath fizz. That's exciting for bath time. He never has a bath. Um, so I thought that it'd be nice to just have a little relaxing bath for him. So we've got some beauty beds. So I originally just went in because the um, the Boots and Inverness has got Ola Hendricks and stuff. So I went in to get some Ola Hendricks and stuff. So I did get the Fat Glow Facial by Ola Hendricks in. Now it is pretty much the same thing as a drunk elephant in, but nay quite so if I mean intense and then also picked up again the glow to OH go to OH dark spot toner I had this before and I loved it and obviously I had to get my swimming under the eye gel patches because I meant to get them ages ago when I said that I'd finished them and they were just sold out so I got some more. Oh no, I have a little spoon. Look, a little spoony. Um, I got, again, the Florence by Mill Get Gloss Lip Gloss in Magnetic Mills. Now, I hope that this isn't shimmery. It's nay. It's a nice nude. <gasps> oh, it's so bonds. Look at that. A nice nude lip gloss. I am loving lip glosses just new. Um, and then last but not least, the Glow Yeah Lip Oil from Mills as well. Her stuff is very, very affordable. So if you do not know, you need to get to know. Yes, beautiful. It's unscented, unflavored, just plain beautiful goodness. Look. I love it. So that is all my buys. So what I'm gonna want to do now is reorganize this cupboard, put everything in its rightful place, and then hopefully that will be it done. Well, you're up on my lovely straight shelf. Uh, so we've got this little box here that I am going to put nappies into just to mark it a wee bit easier access and a bit tidier. Got some softener. Smells so good. Right, that's closed. <gasps> oh shit! Fuck! Okay, it was open. <laughs> okay, that is it up. Road. Hi. Cool. Hi, Luke. Oh no, it's not satisfying! Close. Wait, it could be. Oh no, not nearly. <laughs> right, so the trick is to 
grab the bottom corner like this oh fuck no it's not a tree i did it wrong hold on Oh, it's not gonna be satisfying. It's not. Just gonna shut the video off now. Hey guys, so I am um, went on another shop to get stuff for our living room. So I'm going to rattle through it quite quickly because I've got one bar of charms left, and it'll piss me off. So I've got stuff from. B&M and Faye as does, okay? So, got this blanket, Paradise Paradise print throw for in here, nice, festive. Got some coasters to go with some table mats, uh, place mats for here. Also got a table cloth for here as well, for easy wiping. Got this cute little Cute little mirror from Asda's. This head ornament, very cool from Asda's also. This cute little cup that I got for the laundry room for our um, pudding thing. You see my put oh, the softened in. This is for the softener in case there's drips. Some bits for Eli. Being this was pajamas, the trees are down here, or some way. Pajamas, bed sheets, Winnie the Pooh. This is the sheet, and I've got covers as well. So we've got this cute, I feel like it looks like an aloe vera. I don't know though. One of these, another one of these. I've already actually got in, but somebody must have stole all the leaves on it because I seen this and I was like, Whoa, my one's got two leaves on it, and this has got loads of leaves on it, but still. I did like it, it's concrete so it's nice and weighted and heavy. This um, succulent in a little <laughs> pot and then this cute little basket, how sweet is this? So I've got these cute little mirrors, how sweet is that? Because the pictures kind of sit like that but I thought that this would be cute to sit like that as well. I was not sure if it was pyjamas but I think it is pyjamas but it's cute, super cute. These were the bed sheets for Eli, how cute are they? Just a nice spare little succulent pot as well. A little animal um, ornaments. A black matte, black wax melt thing. But although the paper is navy, that was weird, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. The base. Oh. Um, although we've got navy. I thought black would go cute for little accents because we have got black stuff in here as well. And then a little leopard. Cute is this? So bloody cute. Um, and then that was it. We are currently stripping the wallpaper. We've got a massive wall here. So and it's came off pretty quickly, didn't it? Aye. <laughs> Where's the eye? <laughs> um so what we've done is we've kinda of, we've left the backing paper on so that it's even oh my god, it's gone on with me today. Um so that it's kinda of even underneath um so we didn't need to put my backing paper on. So the morning we are gonna to go to B and Q and I need to get some paint to repaint because we've seen this walls. But I'm going to get a paint that's very similar to this so that I didn't need to paint RY because now RY needs it. But I'm going to get washable paint so that I can wash these little sticky fingerprints off it. Um, but I think they do, I think this is natural slate, Dulux natural slate. So I think that they do the washable version. So that is what I'm going to get. Um, <laughs> it is Friday. We missed it a day yesterday because we were decorating Muhammad's deed. Um, 
but we managed to paper and paint the whole living room. Um, Craig finished the painting and he made a couple of boo-boos. So we are going to go into B&Q to see if we can get a couple of bits to help um, clear up those boo-boos. Um, so that's what we're going to do. But everything went okay, but my body is... Eli's shouting. My body is in fucking agony today because we're literally doing it basically the hell like day and like morning <laughs> this morning. So that is us. We are going to go to being q possibly being in. Um <gasps> Who is this? Well, I thought you were changed. Ah! Eh? I fell on the bed and I couldn't get back up. What's this? It was an accident. I'll show you is <sighs> the result of yesterday or possibly just the finished result but I'll show you if it ever I get on anyway. Just editing this video and I realised I actually didn't really show you a uh, an after um, but Eli's made a mess of the living room so I'm just gonna insert photos and you can see how we got on um, yes the living room is finished except from curtains I need to get new curtains and then that is it I need to still need paper at the lobby We'll do that at another time. Um, and I still need to, still need to hung up. <sighs> still need to hung up stuff in the cupboard as well. But basically everything's finished. <laughs> so, yes. Hope you all enjoyed this DIY vlog. I'm a DIY goddess at this point. Um, and we shall see you again next week. <laughs>